Hello and welcome to your third Excel lesson. Today we'll be looking at the fuzzy string matching in Power Query for Excel 365 and Excel 2021 users. Now from our previous video, we did say that the fuzzy string matching comes to play when matching two inexact texts. And we did make our comparisons comparing this transactional file with the master file. So here we have a scenario where we have list of names we got from, say, a particular department, and we are meant to extract these names from our master file. But this list came with most of the names not exactly corresponding with the list of names we have on our master file. If not, VLOOKUP would have just done the trick. But when you have a scenario like this, Fuzzy Lookup comes in and saves the day. In a sense, Fuzzy Lookup doesn't only look at the equivalency of two strings, but rather how close these two strings are to one another. So moving right into the video. First, you hit within your table. Then from the data tab here, you hit on this from table or range icon. And it will redirect you to this interface. So let's close and load. Over here, we only want to create a connection. So we'll click on this icon. All right, then we hit on OK to load our data into Power Query here. So we'll do the same for our transactional file here. We'll hit inside the table. Then from our data tab, we'll hit on this from table or range ribbon here to redirect you to this interface. Then again, we'll close and load. Again, we want to only create connection. We hit on OK to load our data set into Power Query here. So once that is done, we'll hit on this Get Data icon. And from our combined queries here, we'll hit on this merge icon here to merge our two strings. So here we'll select table one, then table two. Then we'll check the use fuzzy matching to perform the merge icon and hit on the fuzzy matching options here. Moving on, let's input our similarity threshold. Over here, let's use 60%, 0.6. And then our maximum matches one. Then we'll hit on OK. So we have our two data sets merged. Now the list of names in table two are hidden. So we'll hit on this icon and uncheck the use original column name as prefix and hit on OK. And here you have your data extracted. So we can now close and load. And here we'll select a new worksheet to merge our data. Hit on OK and boom. We have Power Query matching and sorting out your data perfectly. Thank you for joining in today and don't forget to like and share this video. We'll be awaiting your feedback in our comment section. See you!